What's going on, man? It's uh, your boy, Kendra Laventure, a.k.a. Keys Dope. Um, real quick, man, I just wanted to, you know, take the time to uh, show you guys uh, the Logic version of my new pack. Um, if you want to know where you can get it, just head over to my website, keysdope.com. That's right, keysdope.com. So, um... Uh, yeah, man, let's get to it, man. It's pretty straightforward. It's kind of the same thing as Ableton, but in a different way. I didn't even know Logic had a version where you can, you know, put different uh, files together and run it like it's Ableton almost. So they kind of have the little Ableton type of vibe going on. But I will say this. I will say this. Um, you need, I believe it's Logic 10.3 to be able to have these features this feature to have to be able to run this in logic you have to have logic 10.3 or higher um, and then even with Ableton like you need Ableton 9.7 or higher um, I should have I, I try to do it at a, in a version that everybody kind of has already but I know when you don't have the specific software version you're not able to open the project so I don't want you guys to like you know purchase it and then you guys can't really use it because you don't have the requirements to use it so um yeah without further ado let's begin so as you can see um you have everything at your disposal you have you know your you know all your sounds and real quick let me go through them so the first six sounds are just pads that play like a one five uh number combination and then um the last three which is uh distant memories and the sign lead and the sign lead fade out whatever um those are transitional uh patches or whatever you could call them um i use those typically to transition if you're a drummer uh a way to think about it is like having your xpd pad or whatever and you you hit a little chime at the beginning of a song or at the end of a section of a song or at the end of the song or whatever. Um, it's kind of more of your transitional auxiliary type of um, thing. So let's get through it. Um, so you got... Okay. Now, Ableton shows you how everything from this side, right? But they kind of have it in logic on the bottom. So if you click on here, it plays all of them at once. I wouldn't recommend doing that because you don't need all of them playing at once. And then here is the stop. It just stops everything. Oh, you can use your space bar. Um, it's pretty straightforward, guys. So, I mean, uh, I can show you guys another thing real quick. Um, so, oh, if you have a launch pad, uh, you can use that, but it's not going to be the same as Ableton, where it lights up the same way, um, it's on your screen, all the color coded stuff, whatever. Now, if you wanted to change the, the coloring of your stuff, maybe you don't like mine, that's cool, you can change it. All you gotta do is the channel, by designated channel. So the channel, you, uh, I think you right click on it. Yeah, right click on it, and then you'll go to, I believe, mm, how did I do it? How did I do it? I believe I went to file, or is it track? Assign color. Oh, assign color. So, right click. Assign track color. And then you could choose whatever color you want, and then all of them will appeal to that, I believe. Let me let me change something real quick just to make sure. All right, so I changed one. I just changed the track. 
let me see. Oh. So I can either assign, not icon. I believe I can do all of it at once. If I'm not mistaken. Ooh, let's undo that. Uh, maybe I have to select all of them. LOL. Not sure how I... Salute all of them. And then, um... Voila! Uh, so I'm gonna undo that because I don't like the yellow. Or for that. Or... Or whatever. Um... Let's do All right. So now many of you probably have like a, a controller that you want to control your faders, right? All the channels, the volume, the mix to level out this stuff. Uh, it's a pretty easy way. So I got this manual control. If you don't have it, get you one. It's a Korg. Now you can go ahead and screenshot it. Just don't get my face. <laughs> the Korg nano control. This very, this very thing is probably going to cost you like 70 bucks. And then um, I highly recommend a case. It's like 16 bucks. 16 bucks. Um, I don't think it comes with a, a cable. I, didn't, I don't think it did. So you're going to have to buy one. It's basically, a, I think it's a, a micro. I think this is a micro. Micro. USB type to a USB type A, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot all that stuff. But um, yeah, so real quick, I have this. And now I'm going to assign all that stuff, right? So. First channel, I want to control this. So what I got to do is click on it. Boom, I clicked on it. Then I'm going to go to Logic Pro. Control surfaces. Surfaces, yes. And as you see, it says learn assignment for volume. So the hot key is Command L if you don't want to go through all that. You're going to click on it. And then this menu is going to show up, right? So now you're going to... Watch this. Oh, look at that. We it works. So, but it looks like it's like dang, it goes up to you know six dB. I want it to just go at unity zero, right? So how do I do that? Let's change the value of it. So you got a value of zero between zero, which is infinity, and a hundred and twenty seven, which is plus six dB. So then the, the, the ratio you need is zero to 90. Um, and then when you set that, hit learn mode. Once you have hit that, watch this, zero. So every time I go up, go to zero. Infinity, zero, unity. And then you X out. So when I play, you hear? Nice. Okay, let's say I want to mute it. Okay, how do I do that? Awesome. I can show you. Same thing. I'm going to click on mute. And then I'm going to go to Logic Pro Control Surfaces. See how it says learn assignment for mute? Boom. Now I am going to use... I'm going to use the R because I can. Boom. And then I'm going to learn mode off. It's on, off, on, off, on, off. 
For some reason, it takes more than that. Let me see. I guess it takes double, which is weird. But that's how that works. Um. So, yeah. Thanks for those that purchased this. Um, tag a friend. Post your video if you, you know, use it in a live setting. Record yourself. Capture yourself. Whatever. Tag me in the video. Uh, tell a friend. Share it to everybody. This could be a great tool for even engineers. Engineers as well. So if you are an engineer, sound engineer, and you're at a church that can use this kind of atmosphere in the room, you could fill up the room with just this by itself. And you don't even know how you don't even know how, you don't need to know how to play. It's already playing for you. Tell you. So um, yeah, thanks again. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'm going to be work on working on some other stuff, um, and I'll be working on some other stuff. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Hit me in my DM. Follow me at keys underscore dope website keysdope.com. Check it out. 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 Check it out.